What if one event could change the course of the world forever? The morning of September 11th, 2001, did just that. As the sun rose over a seemingly ordinary Tuesday in autumn, a sinister plot was about to unfold. 19 terrorists, members of the extremist group Al-Qaeda, had managed to board four commercial airplanes. The targets, iconic symbols of American power and influence. American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175 took off, unbeknownst to the passengers, with a deadly mission. Their journey ended tragically as they were flown into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. These towering symbols of financial might reduced to smoldering ruins. Meanwhile, American Airlines Flight 77 embarked on a path of destruction, crashing into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. This symbol of military strength now bearing a gaping wound. Yet in the face of terror, there was also defiance. United Airlines Flight 93, originally aimed for Washington DC, met a different fate. The brave passengers, aware of the other hijackings, banded together, fighting back against their captors. Their heroic efforts led to the plane crashing into a field in Pennsylvania, far from its intended target. In the span of a few short hours, the world looked on in horror and disbelief as the unimaginable unfolded. The Twin Towers, once standing tall and proud, crumbled to the ground, engulfed in smoke and flames. The Pentagon, a symbol of American defense, was now a scene of devastation and loss. The human toll of this tragedy was staggering. Nearly 3,000 lives were extinguished in the blink of an eye. Men, women, children, each a story cut short, each a dream left unfulfilled. The echoes of their loss continue to resonate, a painful reminder of the cost of hatred and extremism. In just a few hours, nearly 3,000 people lost their lives, making it the deadliest terrorist act in world history. The aftermath of the attacks was a time of national trauma and vulnerability. It was as if the very fabric of American society had been violently ripped apart, leaving a gaping wound that stretched from New York City to the furthest corners of this country. The images of the Twin Towers collapsing, the Pentagon in flames, and the wreckage of Flight 93 seared into the collective consciousness of a nation, causing deep psychological trauma and a sense of vulnerability among the American population. It was a time of heartbreak, yes, but also a time of unity. A time when the nation came together to mourn, to heal and to respond. The United States, under President George W. Bush, declared a war on terror, a war not against the nation, but against an ideology. This war aimed at eliminating terrorism and its sponsors wherever they may be found around the globe. In the immediate aftermath of the attacks, the USA Patriot Act was swiftly enacted. This legislation granted law enforcement agencies expanded powers to counter terrorism, a move that was both applauded for its decisive action and criticized for its potential infringement on civil liberties. The balance between security and freedom, a cornerstone of American democracy, had been upset by the events of that fateful September day. This balance was further tested with the establishment of the Department of Homeland Security. Created to coordinate domestic security efforts, the department represented a significant restructuring of the American government. It reflected the new reality of a world where the threats were not just from abroad, but also from within. In the days and weeks following the attacks, the American people grappled with a new normal. A normal where fear and uncertainty were constant companions where every plane overhead could be a potential threat, where every unattended bag could harbor danger, but it was also new normal, where resilience and unity shone through. The nation was at war, not with a country, but with the concept of terror itself. And while the wounds of that day would slowly heal, the scars would remain, forever shaping the nation and its place in the world. The war on terror had begun, and with it, a new chapter in American history. The United States, under President George W. Bush, declared a war aimed at eliminating terrorism and its sponsors worldwide. This was not a war against a country or a region, but an ideology, a concept, terrorism. The first step in this war was the invasion of Afghanistan. The country had been the safe haven for Al-Qaeda, the group responsible for the 9-11 attacks. The Taliban regime, which ruled Afghanistan, had harbored these terrorists. The US, along with its allies, set out to dismantle Al-Qaeda and remove the Taliban from power. This marked the beginning of a long, complex and costly battle that would last for nearly two decades. But the war on terror didn't stop there. Two years after the invasion of Afghanistan, the United States turned its attention to Iraq. In 2003, under the belief that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction and its perceived connection to terrorism, the US led an invasion. However, no such weapons were ever found. 
This decision sparked controversy and debate, both domestically and internationally, about the justification and consequences of the invasion. Beyond these invasions, the war on terror extended to a global scale. The United States, working with allies, engaged in counter-terrorism efforts around the world. From intelligence sharing to joint military operations, these efforts aimed to prevent and respond to terrorist activities wherever they might occur. This war was not only fought on the battlefield, it also took shape in policy decisions, diplomatic efforts, and the implementation of security measures. The Patriot Act, the creation of the Department of Homeland Security, and enhanced security measures at airports and public spaces were all part of the United States' response to the threat of terrorism. The war on terror would shape US foreign policy for years to come. It influenced decisions related to security, diplomacy, and military interventions. And while the war has seen successes and failures, it continues to be a significant part of the American narrative in the 21st century. The echoes of 9-11 still reverberate today, influencing our daily lives and our view of the world. In the aftermath of the attacks, the United States underwent significant changes, particularly in terms of national security and foreign policy. Enhanced security measures became the new norm. Airports in particular underwent a transformation. The simple act of boarding a plane is now a process involving detailed security checks and screenings. Public spaces too are under constant surveillance, all in a bid to prevent a repeat of the horrific events of that day. The impact on US foreign policy was just as profound. The war on terror, initiated in response to the 9-11th attacks, led to military interventions in Afghanistan and Iraq. The goal was to dismantle Al-Qaeda, the extremist group responsible for the attacks, and to remove regimes that harbored such groups. These interventions, however, were not without controversy, and they continued to shape the United States' relations with the rest of the world. The war on terror also led to a shift in the United States' diplomatic approach. The emphasis was now on security and counterterrorism, and alliances were often viewed through this lens. This had far-reaching implications, influencing not just the United States' relations with other countries, but also international politics as a whole. But perhaps the most enduring impact of 9-11 is the ongoing discussion about the balance between national security and civil liberties. Laws like the USA Patriot Act, which expanded the powers of law enforcement agencies in the name of counterterrorism, were met with criticism. Critics argued that these laws infringed upon civil liberties, sparking debates that continue to this day. In the end, the long-term impact of 9-11 extends far beyond the immediate devastation caused by the attacks. It has shaped our laws, our policies and our societal norms. It has influenced the way we travel, the way we view security and the way we interact with the world at large. 9-11 was not just an event but a turning point that continues to shape our world. Behind the scenes, there were stories of missed warnings, survival and acts of heroism. Let's delve into the unseen narratives of that fateful day. There were earlier warnings that pointed towards the impending attacks. Intelligence agencies had received snippets of information that, when pieced together, formed a chilling prophecy. But unfortunately, these signs were not fully understood or acted upon, leading to a catastrophe that could perhaps have been averted. In the face of such overwhelming destruction, tales of survival emerged. One such story is that of the World Trade Center's Stairwell A in the South Tower. In the midst of chaos and confusion, those within this stairwell found themselves in a pocket of safety. Their survival amidst the collapse of the Twin Towers stands as a testament to the human spirit and the will to live. Then there were the haunting phone calls from United Airlines Flight 93. Passengers on board, having learned about the other hijackings, made calls to their loved ones conveying their final words and their plans to try and regain control of the aircraft. Their bravery in the face of certain death is a poignant reminder of the courage that lies within us all. And let's not forget the first responders, the unsung heroes who rushed into the chaos to save lives. Their selfless acts of bravery resulted in many of them suffering from long-term health effects. The dust, debris and toxins they were exposed to have led to a myriad of respiratory illnesses and cancers a bitter reminder of the price they paid for their heroism. These stories remind us that in the midst of tragedy, there are often unseen heroes and lessons to be learned. The unseen narratives of September 11th, 2001, 
shine a light on the resilience, courage and selflessness that emerged from the darkest of days.